Question number 11, okay. David Seymour. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police and reads as follows. What reassurance can she give to Epsom residents concerns that their community policing centre will cease to operate after 24 years? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I can advise the member that I have asked the same question of police because I very much understand the value of a community police presence. I have sought assurance that Epsom residents will have continued access to our excellent New Zealand Police Service. Police have assured me that police staff will remain very much visible and working in Epsom. Police staff will continue to hold weekly community clinics in Epsom as well as maintain the presence of a community constable and continue with foot patrols, school visits and community policing as usual. Supplementary. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Will the Minister consider, consider setting policy for police such that the rental paid for premises for community policing centres might keep up with rising property values across the Auckland region? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm sure that that would be actually quite outside ministerial control under the Policing Act 2008. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, in light of a reduction of hours of attendance by police at the policing centre, uh, does the minister anticipate that police numbers will increase to reduce pressure on that duty as well as others faced by the police across the Auckland region? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm sure that that member has heard both the Prime Minister and myself state that there will, in fact, need to be uh, an increase in resourcing into the future, and I expect that he will want to wait to wait, uh, wait for that announcement. Supplementary. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Does the Minister see the value in a monthly newsletter circulated by volunteers at the centre, including tips for fighting crime for residents and crime statistics provided to them by local police? The Honourable Judith Collins. Yes. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Thank you. To the Minister, are there any plans to permanently close any more community policing centres other than those in Ellerslie, Pamuir and Epsom, which were confirmed over the weekend? The Honourable Judith Mr Collins. Speaker, that uh, decision would be made by the police. It's an operational decision. And, and as far as I'm aware, no. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Are there any plans to reopen the Mount Roskill station to the public as it was for many years before it was recently closed? The Honourable Judith Well, Collins. Mr Speaker, I'm sure that members fully aware that the matter is simply being addressed around the health and safety issues of volunteers in that particular uh, kiosk. I'd also say to him, I, I am, however, uh, very soon about to open a new police station in the city of Napier. And I'm sure that the local member would want to congratulate the police on what an excellent station it's going to be. Supplementary. Oh, sup supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, in light of the Minister's quite proper inability to intervene in operational matters of the police, uh, what are uh, residents concerned about a lack of funding for community policing centre premises uh, able to do to have their concerns heard? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, obviously the local member has raised the issue quite properly, and it's a matter that I'm sure that the police are listening to, but in relation to resourcing of police, New Zealand police are currently at an incredibly high level of public satisfaction. I think it's now 84%, which is a long way from 28% of some other parties. Um, Order. And um, I believe, Mr Speaker, that the people of Epsom will see some very good progress in the future. Question.